Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld, where I haven't recorded in a little while. Uh, but it looks like everyone is a little bit hurt for some reason. I'm guessing we had a big fight last time. Um, Kim has a bunch of... Okay, bruises and cracked rib. That's not too bad. Metaceline. It's all patched up. Oh, so it looks like I made sure that some doctoring happened. And that's bruises and cracks. Ah, do you know what? I think they all went berserk. That must have been what happened. Okay, so we're just waiting for them to feel a little bit better. So let's have a quick look at their needs. They are stressed out. Stressed out. Neutral. Happy. And where's Clark? Hi, hey, Mage. How are you feeling? Stressed. Why are you stressed? Because innocent prisoners died. Can't do much about that. Why are you in pain? All right, you will be constantly in a little pain until we can give you a new arm, basically. And that won't be happening anytime soon, I don't think. Okay, now Strong Effects says that I should be putting them some enforced joy time into their day. So I think I will do that. Um, but I will... I don't know whether to give them all joy time at the same time or not because if they have joy time at the same time they can sort of help each other but we do only have two joy items I know I really need to improve on that once there's some more bedrooms up here I'll make this into like a nice little rec room for them so let's give some joy time now I think that a shale no 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 uh yeah a shale I called him Clark because he used to be Clark. And Nia, Ashale and Nia, they are together, I believe, if I remember rightly. So they can have joy time at the same time. Higher Mage and Kim can have joy time at the same time. And Kafra and Metasleen can have joy time at the same time. So that's enforced. That's going to make them be happy. Just for a couple of hours. Make sure they are. Okay, Nia is doing a bit more harvesting, which is fantastic. But we need a shale when he wakes up to be doing some cooking. I'll just make sure that that's a, a real priority for him. Because it's no good having all this rice if we don't make it into anything. Uh, cooking one. Yeah, he'll cook before he does most anything else, really. Oh, fire. Where's the fire? Where's the fire? Where's the fire? I don't foresee that one spreading. Nia is apparently going to go and try and put it out though. Okay, well you can do that. It won't take you long. It's only one little patch. That must have been within uh, the area that they're allowed to uh, sort of put fires out. So it must be kind of the home area. Which I didn't think the home area was that big. But we'll have a look. <laughs> there must have been a fire there before. <laughs> Okay, that doesn't need to be the home area. Alright then. Let's go back to your planting and sowing. These aren't growing very well at all. It is the middle of the day and they are just not growing at all because they are too cold. Because the heater doesn't have any energy because we don't have enough solar panels. So, oh Catherine's in a daze. Oh good. Well, you can carry on doing that. We really need someone to go and get some steel. I think there is still more steel to be mined, so I'll tell them to do that. When Kim is a bit better, she can mine that out. Because uh, it's really important that we get these fields working. We can't expand the base properly until they are, because we will not have enough food. Hi, Mage. What are you up to? You're hauling component to a heater. Oh, well, that sounds good. Starvation. Cathra is starving. Well, I can't really help you if you're wandering around in a daze, can I? Not with the starving thing. There's like four meals up there. You could have, you could have a nice meal. But no, you've decided to wander around. So, in the... In the toxic fallout. Because that's really clever, isn't it? 
We maybe should have patched you up, but I would, I'm running out of medicine. Oh well. She'll come out of it eventually. How's Metasleen feeling? A little bit better. Very joy deprived. Well, hopefully you can go and play some horseshoes in a bit. Everyone's got one out of apparel, so I cannot wait until I can get some cloth growing. And then we can get some stuff. Uh... What was it? Then I can get some uh, clothes being made. We can make a nice big workshop up here or something. Someone was saying that it would like make quite a nice workshop if I squared it out and made some rooms and stuff in here and then eventually I can make a moisture pump and that will allow me to but I think I'm gonna leave it until I have the, the water pump honestly because it's a pain to make things out of it and I've got so much room I've got all of this room so what's the point in making something there um, this is gonna be our fridge and our kitchen area so I do need to tell them to just make a little wall there out of probably marble okay Um, and as soon as we can get some steel down there, the better. Right, well, the sooner the better. Do you know what I'm actually tempted to do is to actually just um, hook that geotherm up to that heater. I might do that. That would mean that we could get one more field going almost straight away. Especially if I told someone to... Um, I can always take them away later. If I do that, and then I'll tell it to reconnect. Obviously once it's built. Um, Hi, Mage, can you make that? Need the materials, okay. Hi, Mage, can you do mining? What are you doing at the moment? He ah, hauling steel to the power conduit. That is exactly what I want you to do. That is exactly what I want you to do. Yay! I don't know why you decide to go outside though. That is kind of annoying. Oh, that's not the power conduit I entirely wanted you to, to do there. Ah. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't know. So we've still got some uh, steel up there as well. But I prefer to take the steel from here because it's nice and inside and they don't get all uh, toxified. See? I'm going to say toxified instead of toxicified. Because <laughs> it's so much better. So yeah, that was a, a suggestion from the comments. Say toxified. It's so much easier. Yes, it is. I could do putting a bed in that room, honestly. I'll just queue one up. I won't make it a big priority, but whenever they fancy, whenever they've got a bit of spare time. Probably could make one out of granite, actually. We've got a few spare granite blocks, and we could just pop a wee bed there, and that would be lovely. And we can also probably do it with this one as well. I'll just um, deconstruct that, and I'll make them put a bed in there. in there as well. Why not? They do need to do a bit of sorting out of this area as well. Um, what I would say is I will ask them to smooth the floor just in this one room here. I'm not going to be too um, you know, stupid about it. We've got two rooms that are going to be bedrooms and those particular rooms. See all that I have to haul? I'm not going to tell them to haul all that. That's ridiculous. So I'll tell them just to haul those out and that one that's blocking the door. And that'll just give us an extra bedroom. So it's, it's important not to do too much at once. Cathra is in a right state. She's decided to take all her clothes off so she can get more toxified. She can just stand out naked in the toxic rain. Because that's really smart. That's what you want to do. Well done, Cathra. Please come inside.
I'm guessing there's no more wood left to do that torch there. Everyone needs heaters. This whole base needs heating up. We've got another year to get that properly done though, so that's not too bad. Shale is using his allocated joy time. He is very happy at the moment. He's not happy he was a bit cold and he's still got the innocent prisoner died thing, but other than that he's good. Um, let's have a look at uh, Metaseline. She was a little bit unhappy. Oh, she's content now. So has she had some joy time now? No, she hasn't yet. She probably will soon though, if she can get up. And Nia is still quite happy. But I'm just going to let them do their thing. I'm going to just speed it up a little bit. I'm still a little bit concerned about Cathra. I want her to... Yeah, one of your colonists lacks warm clothes. Oh, well, there's a parker on the floor for you. Just need to come get it. You know? It's right there. Right there for you. Um, Fancy coming inside now. Kim is fully healed. Oh, well done, Kim. When you wake up, you can go and do some mining. There is a fire. No. Oh, it's in the home base. Oh, good grief. No, 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 no. Everyone, go. Go, 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 go. Kim, go. Higher mage, go. Go, 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 go. Come on, put that fire out. Come on. Come on, and repair the repair them. Alright, well, we can repair them tomorrow, but at least the fire's out before they got destroyed. About half damage. That one's not very damaged at all. That one's half damage. Cathra, where'd you go? Oh, come on. Snap out of it. Oh, male gender. Oh, thank God. <laughs> His male gender. Oh. So a shale who's like the happiest person in the entire colony is fine. Oh no, volcanic winter. Catherine, get inside. It's gonna be really cold, and you're naked. It's gonna be so cold. You're gonna die of like hypothermia. Snap out of it. Or I'm going to have to get someone to like come and knock you out and bring you back inside because you are starting to really have problems with your health. Oh, cool. Right. Get your parka back on, lovely. Ugh. And yeah, synth thread shirt and your trousers. Oops, that was a bit too uh, quick. Okay, now you can go and do whatever you want. No, it's going to be freezing. At least our plants are indoors, and at least this has a lot of heaters. So that's one good thing. Now we are down to we're still four meals. Okay. Michelle, I'm going to tell you to prioritize cooking because I want more meals made, please. Um. Oh, is anyone prioritizing the steel at all? Oh, yep. Things are being made out of steel. Good, 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 good. Fire. Oh, not the solar panels again. Gee. No, no, no. Um, okay. You guys, go get that. Go get it. Good. Oh, and you're repairing it as well. Good one, Metasleen. Meals are being made. Rice is growing. Steel is being hauled. This is being made for the heater down here. Great. We might need more than one heater eventually. And we have everything except the components for that. Fantastic. Right. Where's components? Do we have any in stock? No. Okay. Do we have any um, dropped ships? Or do we have any components that I can see on the map just now? Some jade over there, we'll maybe get that later. Right, okay. I will tell somebody to go out and mine those quickly. Right, he's got a major break risk, Cathra. Right, what is wrong with you, Cathra? And I will try and sort it out, whatever it is. 
joy deprived, really hungry. Okay. There's food there, so, th so there's no reason for you not to go and eat it. Consume a simple meal, please. That will help you massively. And then, you are totally joy deprived. It is currently 5 o'clock in the morning. So I will say that at the moment, Kafra's time for joy is 6 to 7 in the morning. She can just do joy for the next few hours. That can be her thing. Once she's woken up. And healed a bit. Fire! Fire in the home base! Go on, Kim! Put the fire out. Good, Kim. Right, Kim is off to uh, go and mine the components, which is fantastic. That will help massively. So we should have about six there, which will be enough for a couple of solar panels, actually. I love how it tells you who the blood is from. Um, so has anyone got a minor... So higher Major's not very happy at the moment either, a bit stressed out. Tattered apparel, ugly environment, cold, feeling bad. So things that I can't really easily do a lot about. If they're joy deprived or hungry, then that's something I can go and tell them to, to sort out. Um, prioritise hauling the components. Kim is beating a fire out. Oh no. But that's a fire that's miles away. Oh, and the base again. Right. Near. And higher mage. Extinguish the fire. Kim, clear that. You're not going to need to extinguish the fire. Because other people can do that. So you go and mine the machinery while you're there. And then... Can you haul it? You can't haul it. So a shale, you need to come and haul all the components in. It's a shame we had to go all the way around there to do that. But never mind. And it's a shame that there are only six components there. That's quite bad. Okay, hopefully someone will go out and repair those. Yep. I'm just going to have a quick look at everyone's health. Just make sure that there's no one on more than initial toxic buildup. Catherine has got minor, that's because she was stood outside for ages. So I might just tell her to stay inside for a little bit. Just for a bit and just until it just comes down a little bit more. So they built the bed down there which is great. I'm working on the secondary solar panel here which is fantastic. Um, Looks like that heater has connected... Oh, it's easier to see like this. Oh, straight to the solar panels! Okay, that's that's great. That's fantastic. So this room is now 16 degrees and the potatoes will start to grow. Fantastic. I just hope they've not been growing for so long that they'll all die, but that might happen for the first harvest and then they'll be alright. Okay, we've got 75 steel in there, and we need 8 components. Now the components might be an issue. I will tell them to finish uh, mining out all of this. And then we're going to have a look around the map for more components again. See if there's any I can see, or whether we're going to have to just go mining, or buy them off the nearest trader. That's some more uranium ore. There's a ton of compacted steel up there, which is great. That might be plasteel, actually. Oh, no, it's silver. Okay. I'm just trying to scan all of the all around the edge to see if there's anything that I've missed in the way of compacted machinery. Probably not, though. A little bit right the way over here, which is going to be kind of dangerous to mine, to be honest. Where else have we got some? Oh, right here. Okay. Do you know what? I'll tell them to mine that then. That's not too far away from the base, to be honest. So Kim okay, will probably mine that out. I'll see if there's any more like, sitting in behind it as well. Oh. 
What's this? Kim got food poisoning from a simple meal. Oh no. I really do need to start to uh, refrigerate all this. I think that's maybe some of the problem. But hopefully this will get connected up pretty soon. Because um, I have put a line in there. A uh, power line. But I need to put it through here. And then I'll move that and I'll um, deconstruct this power line. I'll put another power line in once there's more walls in. But at the moment it's a little bit of a scruffy, scruffy, horrible base. I don't know why no one's mined that out. That's random. But oh well. Okay, let's let's go again. Probably be a short little episode today because uh, I'm a little bit behind with things. So I need to get going with uh, editing this as soon as I can. Okay, so this has been built now, so I can tell it to create a growing zone. But I will tell that growing zone not to allow sowing quite yet. Once we get the temperature up in here, then we'll start looking at uh, that a little bit more. I quite like these growing areas. I think they're quite nice. Oh, hi, Amage. What's up with you? Were you just hungry? Is that what it was? Or were you, like, really stressed out? Um... Oh, you really don't like your clothes, do you? And you're feeling cold. Everyone's feeling really cold. I'm going to start putting heaters in rooms, I think. Heaters... Oh, the problem is heaters take components. and oh, I'm so low on them. How many? One component. And 65 steel. What I could then do is put a vent. How much is a vent? 30 steel. Through there. Oh, but I can't because I have to mine it out first. So I'm going to mine there and mine there and I'll put vents in. And that will hopefully warm the rooms around. Then I'll put another heater in. Over here. And then I will put another vent in here, between the two rooms. Um, at the moment, I will make that a non-prisoner room. And I will deconstruct the sleeping spot in there. That's fine. Okay, I'm happy with that for now. Yeah, happy with that. Eventually going to have to move their dining room and stuff all over here. That's going to be their kitchen. It'll be right in the middle of the base and everything. It's getting there though. We are getting the power up here now, which is good. Shell, are you okay? Because you've got the toxic uh, drone being a bit annoying. But he's he's very happy with Nia. Like, he's, a, he's completely happy with a minus 15 drone. Even though it's a really ugly environment and everything like that as well. Now, that dumping stockpile. Chunks and corpses are allowed there. But people really aren't hauling any of these uh, horrible rocks outside. So I would like... Uh, Catherine, can you haul? What are you doing? Relaxing socially. And to be honest, it's really helping your mood. So... Hi, mage. What have we got now? Psychic drone is ending. Yes. Nice. So, hi, Mage. I think it's time to uh, make... That's some anything time for Cathera again. A higher Mage, I'm going to force to do some joy as well. Okay, so... What time are we at? We are at 23 o'clock, which is sleep time. So, as soon as higher Mage wakes up, higher Mage will just be having a fun, fun time. Throwing horseshoes at things. Well, we won't need that anymore. Who needs warm clothes? Meta Celine. Okay, let's have a look at you. I thought you had a Parker though. Yeah, you do. Minus 27 to 30. 
So what are we at? Minus 29 outdoors. What's your room? Minus 3. You should be alright. Ish. We're still unhappy that you slept in the cold, but we're getting some heaters going and that should help a little bit. They're not big rooms. So just keep mining out the uh, the steel there as much as we can. And then if we run out of that steel, we'll mine some of this steel. And if we run out of that steel, we'll mine some other steel. There's more steel around here somewhere. Might make like a second, a layer in the middle there just of all the solar panels and then like make a second uh, row of um, farms up there eventually. I think that'd be quite a nice plan. I do feel like this room is slightly the wrong size. Major break risk. No medicine in storage. Low food. Okay, how is that going? That could be harvested, to be honest. At least some of it. And higher mage is still a bit unhappy. A higher mage is being joyful! Yay! Tons of joy! That's helping. Spacious interior, eight without a table. Eight raw food, that's unfortunate. Um, a shale. Is there any ingredients you can make into food at the moment? No, okay. Nia needs to harvest it first. Oh, you failed! Oh no! That sucks. Totally sucks. Right. So we can start um, lining up the vents now. Should hopefully mean that we need less heaters per room. Kim's a boss miner, she really is. Hey, you only mined like a little bit of it. What's up with that? Right, Shay, are you going to cut some plants for me? No. Oh, I suppose repairs need to be done. Ah, oh, near is. Cool. Come on, cut those plants. Everyone's eating them, unfortunately. So hopefully a shale will be able to... There'll be enough that you can make a few meals out of it as well. Yeah, there we go. Got some meals starting there. The potatoes down here. All died. And that room is 7 degrees. Minus 6 degrees right now. Even with a heater in there, that heater is just not doing anything. It needs help. So we're going to need more than one heater. I mean, Outdoors is minus 19, so it is doing something. But we need another one. To be honest, we could deconstruct that. Oh, uh, I don't know. Right, well, we could tell them that they're allowed to make that one now as well. We need components and we need steel all the time. What are these guys doing? Oh, making the floor nice in there. That's cool. I suppose that's something I told them to do. Kim is getting us some more steel, which is very handy. Um, did they give us... No, she hasn't mined that out either. So we've still got some components on the way. If we have... Uh, we should get four components out of that. So depending on what we get... I will make them do that or that, but I'm going to try and make sure they don't spread it out, spread out the components too much over two structures. Fire! So many fires today. These flash storms are causing a lot of fires. They really are. Oh, good grief! You know what? Why is no one rearming these? That is really annoying. But I can't prioritise it. Because stuff is in the way. Okay, near. Yeah, prioritise that one. Because we need those uh, those traps. Oh, go on, put those fires out. Gee, we've had terrible luck with fires today. Absolutely terrible luck. 
Okay, Nia, uh, please prioritize. Actually, that's not even on auto rearm. Nor is that one. So, please rearm that. Uh, the shale, please rearm that. Because if we get some people coming in to uh, destroy our base, then we need to be making sure that we have traps to trap them with. Now. Shale, can you... Not equip, but haul those EMP grenades. So if we allow them, and the shale can haul them away, and then they won't be in the way of that deadfall trap, because that was really annoying. All these weapons as well. Probably rotting to nothing outside. A lot of clothing as well. Be really, really badly uh, damaged though. So we've got six meals there, so that's fine. We are still living a little bit hand to mouth for my liking. Um, and I would like Nia to come and sew this if possible. Who's got a major break risk? Higher mage. Right, what's wrong with you? You spent all day throwing horseshoes at stuff. Insulted, tired. Well, you can go to bed if you want. That'll probably help. You'd be annoyed because you've slept in the cold as well, won't you? Ah, frustrating. Okay, well, it's night time. Today wasn't a particularly um, thrilling episode, to be honest. It was half an hour of fair, fairly peaceful times. Um, but at the moment, we've got decent electricity to the base. We've got a second... Um, little growing area down there unfortunately even with the heater on it's absolutely baltic i wonder if i reconnected that one and had it going all night if it will connect into the geotherm and turn on if that would would help the temperature go up it might be that it's going dropping the temperature all night and then um that's meaning it's struggling to get to temperature in the morning so it might help just to have it um, connected up to the geotherm there. And if I find that's the case, I might try and find some way to connect all of the heaters up to that. I don't really want um, grow lamps on all night though, is the only thing, but I might have to do that. I know that um, Avac has a funky little mod with like this day-night day switch thing in it, and I would love one of those, but oh well. Ah, we have heaters in these rooms as well, and actually having heaters... The geotherm room is even like ah uh, once the geotherm's there that will warm stuff up as well. So eventually this will be a warm little spot, but it's just getting the infrastructure built is uh, causing a bit of an issue. So anyway, that's the end of the episode, and I hope you liked it. And if you did, then please leave me a like below. And if you'd like to follow the series, please subscribe. But in the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.